Hey there, hi there, hello there, and welcome to Orange Lightning Playzone. Today's video will be looking at Arbiter, a story-driven single-player action game from Jordan Scott. Some people may remember him as the mastermind behind the Ruby Grim Eclipse game. A war has been raging for centuries between the Aether and the Umbra armies. And as per usual, humanity once again stuck in the middle, you know, where we belong, being trampled under demonic spirit feet. But there is one with the power of light and dark himself, the Arbiter, the saviour of all humanity. Is a boy? Yes, you will play as young Ash, a boy who has inherited the power of the Arbiter and must now travel the vast expanse of his world to imprison the dark spirits that have escaped. So, this game is fast. The demo itself is actually pretty short, but it will take you a while to do it, if you're me. The learning curve is pretty steep, it starts you off on some small little creatures that sort of practice and bat around and start to get used to your powers, but before long you'll be up against other monsters that are a little bit more jumpy and springy and avoidy and viciously attacky. So you will have to very quickly learn how to transform Ash into his different light and dark forms. And before you know it, the game becomes a lot less about attacking, defending, and more about actually using your transformation ability to gauge what power you need to be using at this point. For if Ash is the same type, so uh, he's in his ether form, the light form, as is your enemy, Neither of you will attack each other, each of your attacks will just be absorbed, and you'll be at a bit of a stalemate. But should you be the opposing type, um, Ash is in his Umbra form against an Aether enemy, all bets are off and attacks will hit and hurt. So it's very clear that this game is a lot more about your transformation ability than just charging into the fray and hoping for the best, running away, hiding, all that stuff. It's second fiddle. The controls are pretty standard to this point. There's, you know, there's a light attack, there's a heavy attack, there's your typical dodge, but you will not take your finger off that transformation button or you will die many times. But Ash controls very well. He's very smooth, very responsive. Didn't have to tell him off for not doing what I told him to, so that was good. And although the map itself seems very empty, there's not much going on, you can interact with it and there are walls to break and paths to open which does suggest that exploration is going to be a larger part of the full game and unlike some of the other games that we've seen which have been very colourful, very vibrant this game is still very bold in the way that it looks and shows that you can actually do a lot considering you're only really playing with a white and black and everything in between kind of palette I like the narrative a lot about a character using the power of the two different armies, kind of like an avatar sort of thing, has to restore balance to everything. And I'm hopeful that coming in the game you'll actually see maybe some more unique abilities for the Aether and the Umbra. At the moment they both play pretty much identically so there's nothing really different about them, it's more your ability to use them and know which one you need to use in order to not die and to win, in fact. I'm not gonna lie, I found it very difficult, as you will see in my video, but I refused to give up. I went away and I came back a different day and I did beat the boss and it was the best. But I like it, I really enjoyed it once I got over the difficulty ramp. I'm not one who really dives into stuff that's incredibly challenging. Um, but it did feel really satisfying and, yeah, actually achieving things. Who knew? If you'd like to check out my full review on Arbiter, I will put a link in the description below. And if you'd like to check out the demo for yourself, or support the game as well, then I will also put a link in the description to their Kickstarter page. I believe it's got another 10 days probably from posting this. Check out the demo if you like it, then by all means support it, go for it. It looks like a really good game. So 
So, I will leave you now with my gameplay of the demo. Be prepared for much death. Uh, and I'll see you all again real soon. Take care for now. Bye! So, here we go. Welcome to Arbiter. As you can see, it's pre-alpha and kickstarter. White. Oh. Okay, so here we go. LB to transform. Nope, that is not LB. That is LB. Oh. Oh. So I have to be black to go through? And I have to be white to go through? Light attack. Okay, so you have to be the opposite. Pierre, Pierre. Ow. So if they attack me, I absorb it. I think I read. Yeah. Um. So this game has been made by the guy who originally made um, the Ruby Grim Eclipse game. Um. Which I I'm a huge fan of. I really like that game and. It's really cool that he started it off before Rooster Teeth then took it on and made it into a full game. Um, so I was very excited to try this out because I really like that game and I think it's a really cool game. Um, plus, I saw that it has a bit of a sort of, I don't know, the, the, the designs of the little guys. It's like, ooh, it seems to have a little bit of a Kingdom Hearts vibe to it, which I like very much. What do I what do I get if I collect all these little orby things? Anything in particular? Oh. Restore. Wow. <gasps> Ooh, and they can turn it evil looking. Okay. The transition between light and dark is so quick as well. it's like, well, even if you pick the wrong one, it doesn't really matter. Oh, okay, heavy attack, sorry, my bad. Oh, that was heavy. I'm back here, you little thing that looks a bit like a heartless, which is where the Kingdom Hearts reference comes in. They can't hit me, because they're all so white ones. <laughs> Kill this dude. No, come back. Who's that? Ooh Energy regain. Boof. Buff. God, these guys have lots of health. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. What's that? Hello. What have they here? A life orb. Num num. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Hmm. You have to heavy attack it. Yes. Yes. It's very smooth, very nice. <laughs> it does feel a little bit like Ruby. Ah! Oh. Doppelganger, apparently. Oh yeah, I learned that. Okay, maybe we should. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh, he's gonna kill me. I'm not very good at this. Probably shouldn't have used that health orb, like, straight away. <laughs> How do I... Oh, this is not very good. Can I run away? 
This is getting very embarrassing. I am going to die. I wonder why the health bars disappeared. That was really useful. I'd kind of like that back. I'm just gonna sneak off over here and just be like, no! Oh. Alright, I'm gonna die. Defeated. You suck. Ah, stop jumping away, you little shit. I can't see. Where'd he go? Come on. He jumped through the gate! The cheek! The cheek of it all! Okay, it's dead now. Ha! Ah! Oh, get out of the way! I don't want to attack that guy, not you! Oh, what? Oh, come on! Ah! Oh. It's so slow in its attack, it's annoying! God damn! That's really like a really small window there. Harsh! Oh. <laughs> really rage inducing with the way it keeps fucking moving! Stay still! Alright, where's that health orb? Where is it? I will need it. Okay. Bring it on, bitch. Oh, come on! Haha! <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, I fucking hate this. Oh, why didn't you use a fucking different attack, you bastard? Ah! I forgot how to lock on. Ah, uh, bad, bad things. Oh my god, I'm never gonna do this. This isn't even like. A boss boss, I don't think. It is like a mini boss. He's so tanky. Why won't he die? The attack never stops. It never ends. It just keeps going forever. Da 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 da. Let's dance. <laughs> woo woo woo. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Now is the time. Oh, that's how the hell- Aha! I shall win now! <laughs> I can see your health bar! Yes! Oh! No! Yes! 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 yes. Fuck! Yes! 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 Oh! What an ass hat! Where are you going? Get my back. Don't you dare kill me! Oh my god, I will go mad. <gasps> oh, it had better not. No. no! Oh, that's more upsetting than Luca. Oh! <laughs> Why? I got him on the run. Come back here, you shit. Don't you try and map yourself out of here. Come on. Come on. Yes! Yeah! I swear to God, if he responds. I'm gonna throw my controller across the room. I'll do it. Come on then. Eat my butt. I don't actually, because that's kind of gross. Oh, okay, sorry, you're trying to teach me. Right trigger is abilities. Oh! <gasps> I do have a projectile. Oh, nice! Oh, <laughs> that would have been so useful! <laughs> so, I want. Oh, yeah, duh, because I wanted to go through there, but I don't want to go through it, so. Uh, uh. I was kind of hoping for it. Oh, is that a save point? 
Oh no! 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 <laughs> oh, is that now a shortcut? Oh, okay. I think as well, during the fight, I just noticed that as long as you open the path, even if you die, I think the path stays open. So we don't actually need to fight all the poops again. No! Oh, but wait! We've learned the- Fuck! <laughs> We've learned the trick! This doesn't work! Against this guy! Oh lord. Yep. <laughs> Standard. Yeah, I was right. The, um path has stayed open. Okay, so, fuck you. What we can do is just basically, <gasps> fuck you! <laughs> oh, come on! Just come here, you ass! There is he stop freaking bouncing around! Oh my god! <laughs> So bouncy. Oh, I won. I won. Uh. There we go. Whee. Oh, glory days. Probably should use it. <laughs> what play is this? Probably the bus fight now. Enter Grey. Okay. Now is your best chance, Ash. You can do it, kid. I could him, kid. No, I can't. I really can't. If I couldn't beat those other sodden doppelganger sh ch Okay. Yep. Lots of death. Arbiter. It said you would come for me. You must be woke. I can't say I was expecting a child, but I guess I'm not surprised. Humans will do whatever they can to ensure their survival, even if it means trusting their fate to a boy. I have no intention of going back. Ah! No! I don't, I don't want to play with you! You have changed my mind! Ah! Oh. Okay. Well! <laughs> I told you insta <laughs> Oh. Lord. Um, can we skip? Good. I have no idea how to tackle this guy. <laughs> he seems rather ridiculous if you ask me. Oh my god, <laughs> this is... This is crazy. I can't even comprehend what's going on. I don't even know if I've even touched him. What if I use my- whoa! Ah! Maybe we should find him from far away! Oh, I think I died. <laughs> Oh, this guy is hard. Yeah, it, this, is, this is way OP. You can attack me as much as you want. <laughs> the, the coward's tactic is what I've taken. Oh, shit. Shit. He got me out. It was working. It was just so. Oh. Okay, he's back. Ah! That's what I've got to be careful of. That's a different attack. Ah! Okay, he's doing this a lot. It's really annoying. 
Is that it? Is that what he's gonna do now for the rest of the time? Switch! Switch! <laughs> oh no! That was bad. Oh, this is also bad. Oh, he was changing a lot up at the end. That was fucking hard. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't see any draw to fighting him, like, hand-to-hand -hand style. It just, this is not going very well. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. I nearly died there. Oh fuck! <laughs> Fucking chain! Yeah. I think I could get it eventually, but. Ugh. Oh. I could not let that boss fight rest. Jordan Scott! <laughs> that was intense. Um, but I think I got the hang of it eventually. It's kind of like a game of Simon Says. <laughs> Trying to guess what Simon does. You do too. Um, pff, wow. That was intense. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. And check out the Kickstarter for this game. Because, my god, if the rest of it's going to be that intense, then... I'll be sweating a lot more than I am right now. So, um, yeah. Take care for now. Bye!